got a couple. So these are just um, a couple books that I've either read recently or I've read before that I really, really like. Uh, kindness has got a couple too. This one, I think it's fundamental. I actually saw this, thank you, Row Rich, <sighs> Napoleon Hill. I, I was introduced to this in a funny way. It was, um, I was watching, I think the Hex Conference last year. And I wish I could remember the name of the guy who was on the panel, but he talked about it. And I was just listening to it in the car passively. And he, he said, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. And I thought, man, I've never heard of that book. Let me look up this Napoleon Hill guy. And then you get into, you know, all the other books. Yeah, I never knew about this till maybe, uh, I don't know, six months ago or, or, or whenever it was. I listened to this book and I was like, wow. Like, I, it's not that I learned so much much more from the book is that it reinforced all these concepts that I had a little bit of footing on, but now I know I have a lot of footing on because I heard him explain it in all these intricate ways. So yeah. Think and Grow Rich, fundamental. I mean, it's an old book. It's a classic though, but it's so transferable these days if you are in, in the building wealth mindset. Yep. Yeah. And the Great other book, book I have is the book that I think I promote more than any other book in the world for a good reason, The Almanac of Naval Ravikant. Naval is a person who uh, I followed for years, probably almost as long as Richard, uh, full of wisdom. He's an entrepreneur, uh, lifelong uh, angel investor. He, uh, just, he's, he gets deep into the weeds on a lot of different subjects. Tweets, famous tweets everywhere, tons of podcasts out there, audiobooks online. I'll try to put it in the description as well. And if you don't want to read the entire book, they, somebody literally made an analysis of the book, which is like 15 pages. It just has a lot of the big ideals, does a pretty good job. I think the book's fantastic, but if you can't bring yourself to read the entire book, get the analysis at least to give you, give you an introduction. Sure thing. Yeah. What do you got, Kindness? Man, I've got so many books. Books have changed my life. Um, one of the things I'll share with you, I mean, I don't even know where to go on this, but uh, I, I got a lot to share. It all depends on where you are in your life. It really does. Where are you in your financial journey? In your journey? Where are you in your spiritual journey? Uh, you know, where are you? And furthermore, where do you want to go? Um, so as I mentioned earlier, the book that, <laughs> pun intended, forked my trajectory in life was Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Um, mm -hmm. When I first graduated college, I was that American that was like, oh, I'm, I, I got a whatever, $30,000 job, I'm going to go buy a $70,000 car because that's smart. Um, you know, I was just going to debt everything. And um, somebody was like, hey, you might want to check this out. And it was the Rich Dad, Poor Dad book. And I read that and it was like, you know, I was just like going through it. And I came up like, oh, I'm doing it all wrong. <laughs> and I mean, it literally changed yeah. my life. And it just set me on this journey of I need to understand finances. Um, so then the Very next good. book, the next book is Millionaire Next Door. Hmm. Yep. That's a great book for understanding. Like we all have this uh, idea of what a millionaire is. Uh, sorry to tell you, it's, it's really not what you think it is. Read the book Millionaire Next Door. Mm -hmm. The people you see that are crazy rich, that's not a millionaire. That's a, a decamillionaire or, or beyond. So those two books, uh, you know, back when I was 23, really changed the trajectory of my, of my life. Um, from a interpersonal standpoint. Um, gosh, there's so many of them. There's, there's uh, the, the mindset is one of them. Uh, seven mm -hmm. habits of highly successful people is one of them. Yep. Um, but uh, one of the books, and I, I would actually challenge you to read this one uh, because what I like most about this book is that it's like a Cliff's Notes version uh, done in a very, very good way of all of the best books ever. Uh, hmm. And the name of the book is I wrote it down, Art of the Good Life, and it's by Rolf, R-O-L-F, Dobelli. Mm, and I've not this, heard book, that. this book is fantastic. It's 52 cha chapters. Each chapter is based on uh, a lot of the teachings that you'll pick up in many of these different books. You know, First Principles Thinking, like you said. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple things like um, the, end of, the End of Time, uh, phenomena. There's, oh gosh, there's just, you know, mental, mental subtraction and just all this type of stuff. And all of the stuff he does, he, he talks about where this data came from, the studies it was based on, the white papers, the peer reviews, and how to apply it in your life. And um, I listened to this book 
once or twice a year. Like this is my, you know what? I, I need to, I need to reset and start thinking proper again. And it, it's a, it's a fun book to listen to because he has, you know, little stories that go along with it and how it ties into real life. Um, I absolutely love that book. Um, the, the next book, I actually, I just read this book and it was good enough that I'm going to read it again. Uh, you are awesome. I, I, I just like won this book and I was like, Oh, that's a, that's a cheeky, uh, you know, title or whatever. But I read this and I was like, Whoa, I didn't expect that. Uh, This was grabbing device. Yeah. But it's a fantastic book um, for personal development and kind of setting your mind right on a few different things and uh, ways to look at life. And, you know, it, it, it kind of repeats some of the things that as you've read a lot of these books, you, you probably already know, but, um, that one has challenged me, especially with hey, some. I, of, sorry, no, no, no problem on the reading books because um, I think again with how to how to uh, think and grow rich. Even though I'd already heard a lot of concepts, if you hear it over and over, and if you hear it from different sources, that makes it really sink in. Like if you read one book and you get one idea, and you never hear it again from anyone else, you may or may not remember that. You may or not want to apply it. But I think subconsciously, when you hear and read ideals from multiple different sources, it builds this framework in your mind. You feel confident in the idea and you're more likely to act on it. So I have no problem reading or listening to books that repeat some of the ideas because I've, I've listened to the same book a few times before, especially Naval's yeah. books. So uh, no, that's it's reinforcing. Yeah, I, I love talking about books. I could go on forever too. So I mentioned earlier that I, I'm a salesman and I like to be a very top performer. And two of the probably most impactful books I've read that have helped me really change my approach are um, the first one is I got it right. I got so many books written down. What did I do with it? Uh, it's called The Like Switch, L I K E Switch mm-hmm. by Jack Schaefer. He's an old FBI. Um, agent. And basically he talks about how he was trained to uh, convert spies from other countries into double agents. And it's fascinating. It's all about the psychology of how you can get people to like and trust you. And, uh, you know, he sell it. The intro to it is a really fun intro because he sells it as uh, as a college professor. He gets kids interested in his class because he's like, I can teach you how to get laid in one day. And it's wow. Yeah, yeah and, but you listen to college it. College kids it want just, that. Exactly. And so, you know, obviously he's a hit, but it's all just about the psychology of getting people to like you. It is, you know, even for streaming, for all this type of stuff, fantastic book. I've read, I've read that one, listened to that one a dozen times. And then the other one, um, I don't have the name of the um, author right now, but it's called uh, Never Split the Difference. Oh, yeah. Uh, Chris Voss. Yeah, Chris Voss, and it's all about negotiating. Oh my gosh, blew my mind. I read, I I listened to that audiobook. I listened to it six times in a row. I see. Yeah. 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 He always says like these these like listening comments all the time just to get them to keep talking. Yeah. Yeah. Great. I mean, and it's the simplest stuff. Like, okay, how am I supposed to do that? Tell me more. How am I supposed yeah, to do that? that? Those are the best books where it's not something. It's not that you hear this very complicated process for doing something. Is that you get that aha moment when you see that it's so simple that you you just never thought about it that way before. The author knows how to put it in words that connect with you. Those are the best books. 